We are monitoring the growing Ebola outbreak. As we mentioned earlier in this newscast, a patient is now being treated in a New York City hospital with Ebola-like symptoms. Now, this comes as health officials say that the death toll in Africa has climbed to nearly 900 people. And while those numbers are, of course, grim, there is word tonight that the American doctor flown from Africa to Atlanta is improving. As Marcy Gonzalez reports, it may be thanks in part to a possible miracle drug. A second American Ebola patient heading home to the U.S. Nancy Reipel getting on this medical evacuation plane in Liberia, traveling to Emory University Hospital in Atlanta for treatment. You're still fighting, still weak, but um, able to sit up and, and uh, receive, uh, receive treatment and even eat a little bit and take in fluid. Today, we're learning more about an experimental drug that she and her colleague, Dr. Kent Brantley, were reportedly given in Liberia. It was manufactured by a biopharmaceutical company in San Diego, never tested on humans, but in a desperate effort to save their lives, sources tell us they took it and it worked within minutes, leading to a dramatic improvement in Brantley's health, leaving him strong enough to walk out of this ambulance and into the hospital this weekend. The hearing that he recovered and he's doing better is terrific news. But experts stress there is no proven cure for Ebola. Doctors deciding both Americans have a better chance at survival if their symptoms are treated here in the U.S. rather than West Africa, where the outbreak is still surging out of control. Experts saying they're confident, though, the disease will not spread here. They know what they're doing. It's safe. People should be at ease about it. And now Ripoll is expected here by tomorrow afternoon. Like Brantley, she will be treated in a specially isolated room away from other patients. Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News, Atlanta.